2 and iPlayer. watching a BBC News special. I'm Laura Trevelyan, live in New York City, where as dawn breaks, the world remembers the 2,977 people who lost their lives 20 years ago in the 9-11 terror attacks. President Biden will shortly lead a ceremony at the site where the World Trade Center's Twin Towers once stood and where the 9-11 memorial now is. Speaking earlier, he called for the country to come together. At our most vulnerable, and the push and pull of all that makes us human, and the battle for the soul of America. Unity is our greatest strength. 343 firefighters died on 9-11 as they battled flames and evacuated civilians. We hear from one New York firefighter who was on his first day in the job when the Twin Towers fell. 110-story building fell uh, in seven seconds total, and uh, we were caught in the collapse. I'm Philippa Thomas in London from where the Queen has sent a message saying her thoughts are with the victims, survivors and their families. We'll be hearing from people from across the globe reflecting on how the 9-11 attacks changed their lives. The attacks were planned by Al-Qaeda from Afghanistan. Today's commemorations come weeks after the US withdrawal from the country with the Taliban now firmly back in control. And I'm Lise Doucette in Kabul, where the United Nations has condemned the Taliban's increasingly violent response to dissent here. Hello and welcome to New York City and to the 9-11 Memorial. It is a beautiful, bright blue morning, just as it was in 2001. 20 years ago today, the United States suffered the deadliest foreign attack ever on its soil. Almost 3,000 people died as suicide...